What is pie? <laughs> Not that kind of pie. I'm talking about William Jones's pie. You know, the pie that people write poetry about. A poem about pie. Now I know a rhyme excelling in hidden words and magic spelling. Wranglers perhaps deploring. For me, its nonsense isn't boring. Thank you. The pie that people memorise. And then there are competitions when they try to recite the most number of decimal places. 3.141592625. Five three five eight nine seven nine three two three eight four six two six four three three eight nine two seven nine five zero six two six two 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 zero six two eight six You know the pie that people write songs about three point one four one five nine Come on, give us another line. Two, six, five, and three. You're making this pie thing easy. William Jones was a Welsh mathematician who lived on Anglesey in the 17th century. He was good friends with Isaac Newton. He was the first mathematician to use the Greek letter pi to represent the number pi. You know, these days, computers have worked out pi to over a hundred million decimal places, and they've got it right. Pi is the ratio between the circumference of the circle and its diameter. That's what pi is. If you take the circumference of any circle and divide it by its diameter, you get pi. It doesn't matter how big or small the circle is, you still get pi wherever you are in the universe. Here's a strange story about pi. In the 1800s, amateur American mathematician Edward Goodwin tried to legalise pi. He wanted pi to be exactly 3.2 or whatever suited what he was trying to do. He was trying to square the circle, which is mathematically impossible. Fortunately for us today, the law didn't get passed. That's what the number pi is. <laughs>